Hey everybody, how's it going today guys and gals and welcome to some Solaris with the Legacy of the Old Republic mod, Star Wars Legacy of the Republic. And this is actually a mod I've kind of seen before and I got to see a little bit more or into it watching some uh, XP Gamer stuff. He, he did a video on that. It looked like a lot of fun, it looked really freaking good. As well as, gotta love our MG, look at all, look at all this, look at all these. So many different mods I need to dive into. But I've not played Solaris in quite some time. I enjoyed the game and I had a lot of fun with it. Ch some of the changes I'm not the biggest fan of. But I want to get back into it. And the vote. You all voted mostly for Solaris. We will do some CK3 in the future. But that's what you all voted for. Fortunately, I can't turn off the dang vote. Saying, like, okay, voting done. Voting is done. Like you can for pretty much every other damn system on the internet that has voting <laughs> twitter and all the others but and let's jump on in here so i was kind of thinking now where is where is it and as, as you can see so how they did it because you're send old republic and actually create new support which is really cool we uh, i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that this time but you have like the um, core worlds, you have the outer rim, you have the huts here, as well as I think the Mandalores in this area. And something like you just, it's all broken apart. And let's see. Is it? No, where is the uh, other fish people? I can't think of the name of her on top of my head right now. Ah, I'm thinking doing Mon Calamari. Monarchy. And trying to take over the world with them. <laughs> or the world. The universe with them. Like, turn them into a dictatorship type thing. I don't know if you can with that. But I'm thinking of doing it. Just because. And I, would, I would love, like, you don't have the... Um, there's a moon banking... But you don't have the people like you know as the Separatists movement with the uh, droid control ships or anything. I don't see them in this. I can't think of the name of their faction. And I don't see them in this mod. I'm hoping they come and show up later, but I just don't see them. We could go. We could go Core World. Like with House of Elderon or something. And. Just turn them pure evil. But no, let's go with Mon Calamari. I, I had that in my head for a while when I was thinking of doing this. So that's who we're going to go with. And I'm going to edit only because I want to show you the ship. You have different ship. You have the different ship designs and everything in the game. But... Um, where are theirs? Does theirs fall under... I wonder if theirs fall under the Republic design. Because they get a ridiculously... Like, that's a Republic battleship. That's a Republic's Dreadnought. And that's their citadel. I don't know what theirs fall, what their ship design falls under. Oh, actually, let's go back because I don't want to mess it up. So your theirs fall under outer rim ships. Okay. Which is kind of odd. But okay. Let's just select and let's go. Real quick though. For, um, I I'm, know I'm, I keep going back and forth. I keep going back and forth. I apologize. But so Mon Calamari Engineering. Uh, deep understanding of fluid and pressure vessels, dynamics empowered early on. Mon Calamari Engineers to build more with less subsequent advance in energy efficiency, shielding technology, and low 
and zero-g construction techniques have made Doc, Doc on an orbital industrial powerhouse. Functional architect, authoritarian, allows um, stratified economy, living standards, can enslave aliens, cannot use democratic immigrant forms, xenophile, increased opinion of other species, cannot use the no refugee species, cannot enslave entire species, and not displace aliens, and materialists. Now, I've never done an authoritarian, so this is going to be interesting. Natural engineers, sedentary, pop growth is, is lower, which we can kind of fix that later on. So you do have two different galaxies you can choose from. Do a Star Wars galaxy, Lord Wars Star Wars gal galaxy, entire system. Which is 1300 or 600 lore rich. A small version of Star Wars Galaxy without the, the unknown regions. Empire positions are preset. Some areas begin in a single colony. So we're going to go on the 600 because I don't want to go into a large, large one right this moment. So you got the Mandalorian Crusade at 2275. And you return to Sith at 2375. Let's actually... I'm going to increase that by one. Iron Man mode, you really can't do Iron Man mode on this. Oh, no, you can. Oh, nope, not eligible for achievements. You could do Iron Man mode, but not eligible for achievements. I'm not worried about it. Oh. Yeah, no. And... Let's leave it an instant, because again, I haven't played in a while. Let's jump on in. But it's a very interesting mod. I've been hoping for a new Star Wars mod since the last one just went away. I'm happy we have it. I really am. I also want to jump into the Star Trek mod again here. Um, Horizon as well as New Dawn. I want to get back to that again. I think I've done one campaign Star Trek with the Borg. I didn't finish it because the Borg is just, it's really easy. It was really, really easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was, at least back in the day. Um, but yeah. Y'all have any other mods for your uh, Solaris show me to check out, or even CK3 to let me know? Again, if you didn't check out that post, Mondays is going to be Total War. We're going to continue the um, Marinette's Ultimate campaign. Tuesday is going to be streaming. Tuesday night, anyway. Wednesday is going to be indie stuff. Let it be a first look or a um, continuing one of the games we've already done. Thursday is going to be... Um, sorry. This is going to be streaming at night. Friday is going to be Stellaris. And then after that, any other strategy game afterwards. Saturday's nothing at the moment. Sundays are going to be streaming either in the afternoon or night. That's what's going to be happening for the channel. Um, we have long since recovered from the long war with the Korean neighbors. Now is the time for peace and prosperity, for exploration and adventure. Thanks to the scientific breakthrough of a brilliant scientist, Kuvisa, and his hyperdrive, we were able to see more of the galaxy beyond Doc. The galaxy awaits our scientists and engineers. Okay. So lovely science ship. Let's start exploring. Let's explore the world. Uh, do they have auto explore yet? No. Oh, we can't. Do as many as we can here. Okay, so there's just some areas we can't get to right now. Understood. I love the construction ship. Let's get to work. Uh, 
Okay, so let's see here. Um, engineering credits, technician, so power cells probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll get more engineering, engineering uh, energy credits from technicians, planet building energy upkeep, negative 2.50%. Empire engineer, energy storage is plus 2,500. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, research station output 10% or physics research. Let's go with this for now. Um, command, free command limit would increase, unlock starbase building, or society research. Let's get the starbase building for food. Vision missiles. Hmm. Empire starship fuel production. Engineering research. Let's go with the missiles. And let's take a look here. Oh, they kind of pushed. Hmm. Did they go back a little bit? I thought this had all changed. Again, it's been a while since I last played. So our biggest issue right now is building slots are available. Okay. Commercial, administrative, research labs, and planetary administration. Very well. We don't have any income to do anything else. <laughs> we are poor. A new heir. All right. All right. Let's just take a look at what we have right now, ship wise. Everything. So these are our Corvettes at the moment. I'm wondering though what changes are going to happen when Overlord um, comes out here in just a few days. With that update, we may have to backdraft that, uh, uh, backdraft that update a bit until they update the mod itself, unless they update it pretty much as soon as it comes out. Hopefully it will. I don't know until we, we won't know until we see it happen. But let's actually go into the fleet ship designer okay so what they have right now is small prototype shield generator small prototype shield generator and small titanium you have nothing for that and they have early small slug throwers three okay what could we actually build here real quick you can only do a corvette Um, that's weird. Oh, I'm an idiot. Take hey, that's unusual. So hold, hold on before we do this again, I haven't played in a while. They got, we got interceptor is what they have right now. So let's get a missile boat. Early slug. Go away, damn it. Boom. And Now we change it. Auto design takes. Well, we're not wanting to auto design. No. <laughs> the Chanwell, the Domitian, Emancipator. There we go. The Emancipator. We will auto upgrade. And we're going to save. And let's get us. We got insert. You got missile boat. Let's get a picket ship. Help with the for defenses. Okay, so it's saying more armor for you. That might actually be a good idea, but let's do two shield generators because they are known for shields. Breakwater. There we are. Boom. We're good to go on that. And we will slowly begin growing our empire. And let's go ahead and upgrade. 
Vessels upgraded. Did we assign a leader yet? Let's go ahead and recruit ourselves an admiral. Uh, leader cost, negative 50. Leader upkeep, negative 50. Fire rate would increase. Let's get... Oh, we could only recruit you. All right, we're going to hold off on that then. And let's speed up just a tad bit. Alright. Uh, we're getting 29 per turn, 24, 65. Very well. Anomaly found. Research it. Can we get anything else just yet? No, we need minerals. That's a big thing we're going to need. I might actually go ahead and recruit ourselves another science vessel. The only reason I don't want to do that is because we can't really explore too complete. much right now. After carefully examining composition of gases, Fermov was able to isolate several different isotopes belonging to a variety of exotic gases. Our onboard military consultant points out the gases in question are vital to production of laser-based weaponry. We have marked the area for construction crews to utilize in the future. Oh, nice. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there are different, yeah, there are different ones here. We're going to do adaptability. To adapt, survive, and surpasses, expanse, diplomacy, harmony, discovery, centile. So there, and so, uh, some of the races have specific um, made traditions, like custom tra traditions in this, in this mod. I want to say adaptability is for them. I could be wrong on that. We're going to go with that just so we can... Oh. We can have that going. All right. Construction ship. Uh, not fully surveyed. Okay. Let's, let's, let's speed it up. The only thing about Stellar sometimes it takes a while to really get going. Technology secured. New research. Let's go with commercial zones. It'll Technology Let's secured. Go Ooh. Um. So we we're getting twelve for now. We're getting zero though. Green industry is probably gonna be a good idea. We have some crime. And let's go to stronghold up as well. Construction ship. Go build a star base. So we can get the we can get this. Calamari shipyard. Technology secured. Technology secured. Resource silos would not be a bad idea. Mining station. Science ship alloy car. Yes. After lengthy examination, science officer Balma has certain that the permanent is permanently plagued by micro earthquakes and other natural disasters. Our forces, our force sensitive liaison indicates Sith sorcery was involved in creating the rapid catastrophes. Permanent is definitely not the best place to establish a new colony, but science teams could make some discovery here over a longer period of time. Ooh. 
That might be not that might not be a bad idea for future. Let's go with mining station though. Construction complete. Wait, did our interceptor get replaced altogether? I think so. Let's grab one of you two. Do hard work and expansion queen. Okay, beautiful. And let's get this going. So what I'm gonna do is I think our interceptor class has been completely replaced here. No, it hasn't. Where did my other one go? Wait a minute. My picket ship. What the hell? Stella Vista. There we are. There we go. Hey, can I have my picket ship, please? God forbid if they, they may have some uh, chips that can be upgraded. Vessels upgraded. And yeah, let's get a couple of Stella Vistas. Very right, beautiful. Let's begin building mine stations. Hopefully we can uh, get another plant to colonize eventually. Not right off the bat. That would end up being bad for us. Let's see here. We could use a bit more mining. Anomaly found. Uh, research it. Construction complete. Mm. Let's go with administrative office. That would give us bureaucratic consumer turn consumer goods in unity. Secured. How are we doing in unity? Where's my unity? Oh, plus 17. Actually, I ain't bad. Really don't need it then. Um, let's go with the precinct houses for crime. Droid output. Ooh, we could go droid. Show type theory or early reactor enhancer. Let's go with the early reactor. Population growth probably wouldn't be a bad idea. An export resource. Um, how long is that going to take us? 49 months. Uh, ain't bad. Now, question is. Let's go ahead. Let's get. Oh, we can't build. We don't have enough. All right. Yeah, we need to get more um, minerals coming up. Oh, bloody minerals. Ooh, signs of battle. There's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in the close orbit of Sanctuary IV at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on the one side of the moon is pockmarked with craters from straight weapons blasts and scans from the Monk Monkelk have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after because they must have sustained his testament to their advanced design. I remember he was preparing an expedition to sift through these derelict calls for any viable technology. Situation log updated. Ooh. Okay, so this is why we need another science vessel. This is why. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get another science vessel going. This way we can contact report remnants. Crazy are practically falling over themselves 
Those are takes on the recent findings of Alien Life. For a fevered storm in the scientific community has had some negative yet temporary impact. Um, okay. First contact protocols. We shall greet Zeno with open arms. It's wise to be cautious. See, my own, my own, like, that, that's, it's kind of weird. With how that is done, just a little bit. Build manipulation. All right, you. Uh, I the research. Technology secured. Yeah, that that's kind of weird for Star Wars. <laughs> this is the way that's set up. Um, ooh, early starfighters wouldn't be probably a bad idea. Heavy alloy extractor, basic slugs. Mm. Let's go with let's go with uh, basic slugs. Star there. system charted. Oh, we have a new viable place to uh, to possibly grow. Beautiful. Can't do anything else here. I don't want to expand too far in there. There's only four energy there. We really don't need energy. We need mines. That's what we need. We need more mines. Special project complete. Oh, the team under science officer Sarah Karun has finished their expedition in Sanctuary 5. In return to the Wed Korean, sadly, the wrecked starships and service were too badly damaged to recover useful technologies. They're clearly very advanced, however, we could gain valuable engineering insights if we analyze the way they were designed. We should consider construction of a permanent science outpost in orbit. Interesting. Ooh, that may be something in the future, but not right now. Uh, we can't go that far yet. All right, fair enough. I can't wait till we get auto explore. Automatic surveying is something I really, really want. Technology secured. Uh, modifications in reactor can provide increased power production. Very good. Not only research speed wouldn't be a bad idea. Power reactor, though, let's get power. Let's get an increased power core. And our fleet. We are set up to auto upgrade everything, aren't we? Except for, no, yeah, you are too. Okay, good. Ooh. Anomaly found. What was that? Research every single anom anomaly. And we can't really do much. Actually, let's look at our uh, star base design. I want to, you to all to go great as well. Um, oh, curious. He's gonna... Cisco Coban only met one very friendly scientist inside the facility. He tells us that he was sent to into exile after half his team 
your lives in a mishap while experimenting your personal energy shield technology. He further claims he was able to complete the research and has even extended its application to the medical realm. To do this, he studied a previously unknown species he calls the Enzyte, which repeatedly really seem to have extremely long lifespans, even though our team suspects that man has lost, suspects that man has lost his mind due to prolonged isolation. The shield device he created works on short intervals. Technology was more standardized in its design. It might even be able to be equipped to our ground troops. After long negotiations, man is willing to make a deal for a patent. Ooh. Buy it. That's new. I have never seen that one. Interesting. Oh, yeah. We're going to... Sorry. Uh... Okay, so none of that has been finished yet. So we got a couple of different Stars roles we could take a, we could uh, colonize and another one. Nice. Yeah, we have a couple of different worlds we can actually colonize. We need more population. That wouldn't be bad. What's that? Let's upgrade. Star system charted. Like I need some of your lot of minerals. That is an area I need. That is slowly becoming vi uh, viable. I don't know if I still want to. Um, I don't think I'd want to actually colonize though there. Simply because of just how shitty it sounds. Construction ship is just not doing anything because like we could go over here, we could take this, but we could get I mean we could get energy and engineering. But it's not something we really need right now. We need minerals. After a slight collision with an asteroid due to sleeping pilot, our science team ship has to make emergency repairs on Corda. Wow. Good job, pilot. Dumbass. Technology secured. Beautiful. Okay, so let us hold theaters. Not a bad idea. Research wouldn't be a bad idea. Neither would food. What's our food on? Plus 24. We're not doing bad. Let's go with hollow theaters. And let's go. Uh Early droid brain. Do we want droids though? That that's the thing I'm gonna leave in the cut for y'all to decide. Do we want droids? Our team's high spirits quickly dwindled when it becomes apparent. But for he's completely unremarkable in every way. Due to his inability to stay awake in the job, our discovery of the rest of the system has been set back a few days. Well, it's taken a full responsibility for the accident to high command, shielding the rest of the crew from each consequence. We can only hope the crew can move on and forget the accident sooner than it than later. No, let that pilot get all the shit he deserves. So a couple of different planets we could possibly take. That's not a bad one. It's not great. Well, let's take a look at this planet. Oh. Hey. Old miner, after a closer exploration of the abandoned mine, from us sees that the spice deposits on the tunnel walls and vast majority of the spice appears to have been extracted already, which explains the lack of mines in the facility. However, we were able to to mine out some of the spice, the team shares it amongst themselves as a morale boost for the journey to come. Hey, hey, no. Don't 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 do no damn spicy bullshit. What's wrong with you people? Come on now. Stay off the drugs. Stay off the spice.
Alright, yeah, people are fun. unhappy. Um research. So not bad points we could do. What about this complete. one? It's only a six. Technology secured. Oh. As soon as the science team got within range of the shell, the crew opened fire on us. Although the engagement only lasted a few minutes, we were still we still have to make repairs on our own landing craft ship. Thankfully, there are plenty of parts lying around in the form of the attacker's shuttle. The discoveries they were so aggressive on first contact due to the spice that they tried to quickly stow away. We must have arrived on a planet just before a spice deal could have taken place. We have no way to know where the spice is headed. At least we can make sure it doesn't end up in the wrong hands. No one will notice if some of the couch pen goes missing for personal use. Right? What the hell is with my people being addicted to spice? Come on now. <laughs> Good lord, calamaris. Bloody hell. Yeah, let's go with our early starfighters. They, 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 they just want to get high. Went to go clean my room. Then I got high. Then I got high. Then I got high. Vessels upgraded. Beautiful. Yeah, there is. Okay, so there is some minerals over here. I'm going to take. What is the size of this one? Yeah, I'm going to take that planet. So let's go ahead and go construct. Um, Star system. Not fully charted. sorted. How about now? Star system. Now it is. All right. Go take that, build everything there, and I'll probably be our first colony. Mm -hmm. Made. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got a de we got a decent fleet kind of set up right now. We don't have mm -hmm. anything else but Corvettes at the moment. God, even at 600, this is still a large freaking galaxy. Like, a bit, these spots over here are like the unexplored areas of the Star Wars universe, so that's secure. why it's made out. In the, in the large one, those actually have uh, star systems. Fleet command limit wouldn't be a bad idea. Export resources. Medical supplies. Yeah. Anomaly found. When Cisco Bound reaches the ruins, the team separates into smaller groups to investigate the remains of the Sith Temple. Since entering the ruin, Cisco Coburn has felt a sense of discomfort, experiencing the feeling of being watched to others. As the Force Sensitive Liaison is about to translate one of the ancient scriptures, he hears a voice whispering, Leave this place, you unworthy weakling, or I will destroy you. Nervous and insecure, our team packs their things and attempts to leave the main hall. A force spirit appears again, demanding they leave immediately. As the team runs for their lives, they hear the same voice spirit shout, Run, Weakling! I'll find you anyway! The team manages to escape just in time to watch more force spirits guarding the entrance to the door as it is agreed by every member of the team that the records of the Sith Temple are deleted from every from ever-expanding galactic hollow map. No! No! Research that shit! We shall become Sith Calamari! <laughs> we shall become the new Star Sith Empire! Alright. Let's go to mining stations and then also research station. 
He shall become the new grand system. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so we don't have to worry about anyone trumming in from this direction expanding. So we could actually turn. If we took this, we could turn this and this into a just defense port area. We really could. Now we can colonize these two also. So that that is a idea of something we could possibly do. Technology secured. What do we got? Okay. Ooh, early layered shields. Found. Energy credits. Like, we're not doing bad in energy. We're doing a lot better in minerals, too. Let's go with layered shields, I think. Let's upgrade. Vessels upgraded. When scientists to Salak Kaban and anger developed into outright insanity, another team was sent to investigate the matter. They discovered that Moon Kerhu Galaxy that has an energy field shrouded in the force that makes it more aggressive and violent. It was decided to stop exploration, but the current research allows us to find out more about the force and its ancient powers in the mine. Ooh, minerals. I want one where we can hit it for about um Star System charted. For about ten. You know? Like a large mineral spot. That's really what I'm looking for. Is this a ridiculously complete. large mineral spot? Technology secured. And I would love auto exploration points. Technology secured. Let's go with resource silos and. Hmm. Never capacity wouldn't be bad for increase. Let's go with research though. How are we doing? Getting nine, we're getting eleven, four, seventeen. So our influence, we need more influence, plain and simple. And that that's one thing I could use a little help on. It's the best way to increase influence. I don't know if it's changed in this mod. I haven't seen anything about it being changed in the mod, but I really, really could use some like Constructive closer to that. Okay, best way to kind of work on that. Um, has there been no changes with you? Our science team explores service. Oh, yes, research. We can't do anything here yet. Well, the science team explores Moon Dotovo. They find a source of intense electromagnetic field, but no force energy. According to our force sensor liaison, however, after further investigation of the area, they have found a grave of a force sorcerer who was has blocked his or her force injury around the system. As archaeological dig continues, Fermi Marv finds multiple artifacts of note in the treasure trove of, of Beska. Before the site can be explored, exploited, one of the team members points to an honest message carved in a sarcophagus that reads, Those who enter must abandon the treasure within, or be cursed for a thousand years. As the warning spread, it quickly becomes a superstition and fire 
the populace. The team suggests it takes the Bazaar to maintain stability. Okay. So stability, it would increase, decrease our stability. Arch being grave desecrated modifier added for five years. Or we could just go with what we have. Uh, let's take Berserker. We don't need to, st we don't need to increase our stability right off the bat. And let's go ahead. Let's go to New Archaeological Site. Nice. Who's right there on that archaeological site? You are. So, survey. Oh, that's right. We have to take it over. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Situation log. Star system charted. That, yeah, that's the one that we need. Yeah. Star system charted. Okay, okay. So we'll be here, we'll be... See, my, my only thing is... Here, here's my question, because I can't remember. So if I went over here and I built this, an outpost doesn't... Does the outpost affect your influence? It's something I can't remember. I know a starbase does. Technology. I can't remember if an outpost does. Affect, but really affects your grow. Really affects much. It was heavy alloy extractor. Do it. This is something I cannot remember. Oh, is this your this is your last area you have set to explore? Okay. Technology secured. Both food and colony ship has been built. Colonize. Colonization. I always get a little entertainment. Where is Hollow Theaters? Boom. Do hard work and experience scientists. Nice. Got a new skill. Technology secured. Anomaly found. Research it. New research. Uh not a research speed wouldn't be a bad idea. Early lasers, happiness. A micro singularity recently intersected Terra One, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly, in a way that defies our current scientific models. We may be warranted. Let's go with yeah, let's go with the lasers. Uh, let's 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 stop tracking for right now. Mm -hmm. 
We haven't ran into anybody else, surprisingly. And I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to call on We're going to colonize a new planet. We can do no upgrades just yet. I think we're going to end it there. Let me know your thoughts where we should, should we go ahead and start shooting some outposts again? I need to know. I can't remember if outposts affect much up here for it's just the star bases. Uh, it's been a while since I've played Solaris. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comment section below and we're going to end episode here. Mon Calamari Empire shall begin to grow. So I, I kind of want to take someone that is seen as non-imperialistic they are good people and turn them freaking evil <laughs> in the star wars universe uh too bad we can't play as jedi <laughs> they'll pretty much turn them into sin no but um no keep them as jedi and just like all oh, must follow the doctrine there shall be no love or hate or anger throughout the galaxy anyways <laughs> Um, until next time, I'll see all you lovely people on the next stream or video. Bye for now.